I'm going to tie a candy floss booby here. It's one of the favourites on the Lake of Teeth. Now you can tie it with, with, with coral, marabou, or you can tie it with bubblegum pink. I tie it both, give my customers the option. I think both of them work just as well. Now I've got a 175 size 10 in the vise. 140 white uh, UTC. Now the difference is, is it depends on the colour of the thread you use, depends on the sort of effect you get off the mirage that you're going to use. Yellow eyes, as before, I'm just going to trim a little bit off the edge. As you can see, I'm not taking too much off, just enough to take the little sharp edge off. Okay. And take it up to the thread, catch it. I'm quite happy with that, and it pings off. I'll do it again. Happy with that. One turn, one, two turns. Right. Some people put the eyes on last. I like to do it first because if the actual dressing of the fly holds the eyes better in place than anything else. And you don't have to super glue it. And you do need a little bit of movement. Just wind the thread forward if you've not seen me doing booby eyes before. They'll come up proud. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Happy with that. Just take the thread down to the bend of the hook. Okay. Now, same again. Spring water blue. Candy floss coral. What I like to do is put the two feathers together, trim off about a centimetre of each, then fold it over. That way it's kind of mixed naturally, rather than you try to mix the colours. I know some people like it one on top of the other, but I kind of wrap the, the coral around the white. Right, so we're going to tie that in tail's too long for international size, so we'll just trim it again, tie it in again, that's us, go forward, okay, you want to try and keep that even, because the mirage is going to have to sit on top of this, right, mirage tinsel, uh, you can use Medium or you can use large. I'm going to use large today. Catch it in. Go forward. I've just put that into the, the spring because I want to get the thread as far forward as possible behind the eye. The other thing I'm going to do with the mirage is I'm going to put some varnish down because you're not rubbing it. And Trout's teeth can be pretty sharp, they will damage it pretty easily. So, then, because it's a large one as well, it doesn't need so many wraps to cover it up. Four, five, you can see the varnish just coming off, so just wipe the excess off of your finger. Catch that in. Turn it, and trim. Now I'm going to take that excess varnish off and rub it in it because I don't want that getting on the the wing. Right, I'm happy with that. I'm just going to pull put the thread in behind the booby eyes. Okay, right in behind. I'm going to do exactly the same for the wing but obviously it's going to be a bit thicker so we need to cut a slightly larger piece. So I'll take it about there one bit and we'll get the white two pieces same again two of them together fold it pull it twist the stalks okay and then just hold it between your fingers and rip and that gives you a nice finish now another thing I want to do is I want to hold it up so I know that the wing and the tail are in line and I'm using my fingers here so I know roughly where I want to cut it so I'll catch it with my left hand and trim it on that side right still keeping it tight I'm going to pull the 
eyes forward slightly, just do a pinching loop, three or four turns, and that's it, the wing's in, okay, and I'll just go forward, now I want to trim that wing a little bit, so I'll hold it like this, so I'm taking the strain off of it, because even though you've caught it in, you, there's a chance you could pull the wing out, and I'm quite happy with that, so we'll just whip finish it now. You can tie it with white eyes and different coloured eyes, but the original one had yellow eyes. And I like the yellow eyes. It's a really good fly on the like them in teeth. One to always have in your box. Just trim that little bit of hair off. It's got a nice profile on it as well. I mean the white cat booby's not doing that well, I will switch to this and try it out and see how it's going.